Did you guys take a show of hands or sit in bag or towards the end for ten thirty on Sunday evening? So let's start, please. Joe? Sorry. Hi. Uh, yeah. We were not solid like normally we are in, in terms for the, the well-organized defense and the transition, but especially we give away the first goal and other actions. But there is more the consequences for the fact that uh, three days, three days, three days, the, you know, the, the energy, mental energy that we waste more than physicality is tremendous. And, and that's why sometimes happen. But uh, today, Kevin won the game. So in this type of game, sometimes it's Phil, sometimes it's early, sometimes it's Julian, sometimes it's, you know, the people up front. And today, Kevin, make a, without Kevin, today maybe we will not be able to win. So when we talk about tactics, about all oh, the managers and talk about, give me, give me players like, like, like Kevin in this kind of games is easier. <laughs> No, I don't know. I've been five months out and have a good moment. Games back, especially when I restart in Newcastle and other games, few minutes. And after that was not maybe his best, but it's normal. But in the important games and have something like make an assist, score two goals, make another assist too early in the first half, unbelievable. So have a special, really, really special talent for that. Okay. And how important was it for Erling to get that goal today? Absolutely. Absolutely important. The strikers leave for the goal, you know? And still today we could uh, we could find him more, especially in our right side, but our right side. Uh, we could not see him because he moved really well, but yeah, it's fine. So unfortunately the second goal was not good concede, but the game can't be more weekend from so I'm really, really pleased for the, again, the, the players who they are still, they want to try it, they want to try it, and this is so important. Apart from the first goal of Crystal Palace, uh, we see that the team suffered a bit running back to your own goal, your area uh, in defense. Uh, how in, oh, what the problem would be this for the match on Tuesday against Real Madrid that they have so fast players as Benito Rodrigo? transitions yeah. yeah I know I know the reason why it happened today we try to fix it otherwise it will be difficult to get the quality they have more, a lot of qualities but one of them is the the first place the transition players have Real Madrid yeah. okay you mentioned about um, every three days sometimes it's more mental than but this is a situation you obviously face every year and normally you face it brilliantly so what kind of things do you have to do at this time of year? And what is it that the players do just to, to push through regardless? The difference between is because uh, we have more injured players than last season. They have Kyle and Nathan today here. So we'll be easier for today and for the future because I can give you more time to join, to recover, to make, make an incredible effort to, to play like maybe it was not. Uh, the contribution for Akanji was unbelievable. So. <laughs> So mainly the reason the reason is that. So comparing previous season, we want to fight. We, we're going to try, but it's difficult. It's difficult when fight for all competitions. For my experience, I live these times many, many few times. I'm lucky guy for that. To arrive in the last stages with fighting for all competitions, so you are not all a squad. Is not. And we have players for the friendly games playing 96 and 96 and 90 minutes and 94 minutes and 90 minutes in friendly games. They are not here. Well, that is more difficult. I would say almost, almost mm -mm. no chance. Because you need everyone fresh and compete in them and, and do it. Because you can do it for a short time, but you know, it's after Madrid and after come back, Luton, three days Madrid again, and after going three days to the FA Cup semi-final against Chelsea, when you have injured players, at the end arrive a moment, the human being cannot sustain for a long, 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 long time. You know, play every three, three, four days. But at the same time, we are an incredible competitive mindset on our players for experience. And they proved to us many, many years. And and every week is one week less to end of the season. So the now it's seven games, Premier League, and you know, it's 
is closer and that's why the older players make an exceptional effort to try to to, to continue to do it. <laughs> About, I mean, with Kevin, have you said he was out for four or five months? Does that mean he's really quite fresh at this stage of the season? For you? Yeah, mentally for sure. Mentally for sure. Which, which must give you an, a, another advantage from previous seasons to, to have him, to have him firing like that. Well, no, because maybe Kevin is like everyone, especially Kevin, when he's. I listen to him in the bus, in the locker room, and the training session, laugh and other. We are safe. His body language is dictate a lot how how he is, and and that's all. So, <laughs> but every all the players, especially Kevin, and hopefully get sustained in this last part of the season. But it's not just it's how many years have been with us? Nine years, ten years in Man City. The numbers, the presence, the consistency, the have been amazing, so he's one of the best players in all our history of Man City, for sure. 100 goals now as well, which is quite a, quite a record. Yeah, goals and uh, involving assets in other goals a lot, so what can I say? The first goal is unbelievable, the, 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 the fourth is unbelievable, the assets for Nerling. So, yeah, really good, really, really good. I just set the embargo for 10.30 until the evening, <laughs> please.